Are you like me and enjoy a really good gloomy weekend? Something about it just brings out more creativity within me. I just love to stay home, create, cuddle, and read a good book. So with that, I got my tea ready, determined to get some journaling done because I had some catching up to do. And lately, I have been really obsessed with uh, tea. (laughs) I think I'm really enjoying the taste of a really good tea over my morning coffee. So this past week, I've just been enjoying my tea, honey, and some oat milk, which is actually inspired by one of my favorite cafes that I frequent and I'll share later in this vlog because I was craving it and I went to it. So this weekend, I just was all about journaling. The new month of March is here and I really wanted to finish off one of my last inserts. It's actually this insert or booklet that I created my junk journal zine which i hope to share with you sometime soon because i know a lot of you guys have been asking about it and um you guys were curious to see more of it so hopefully by the first batch that sells i will share maybe my personal flip through of the finished insert by the end of this month because I want it to be more of an element of surprise for those that do want to support and decide to purchase this zine. I don't want to give away all the goods because all these pages were personally designed by yours truly. So enjoying the weekend by taking it slow and really journaling all about books. You guys, I have been entering my reading error. I've been loving books, books, and more books. So this whole insert or the zine that I made, it's talking about all my favorite books that I enjoyed in January and February, including this Divine Rivals. Oh my gosh, this book, you guys, if you haven't read it, read it, read it. The hype is real. Okay. Read it. I'm going back and just highlighting and noting and just sitting with this book because it's just so, it's so cute, but in a very good way. So I highly recommend Divine Rivals. Uh, It's a two part, two book series. So definitely get both of them because you're going to want to pick up the second one. Now, I also, I'm really trying to push out my booklets or the zine again so I got my flat envelopes so they don't get damaged and uh, here's a little sneak peek for those that have been asking I know this has been like six months in the works but it's interesting because now that I've gotten back into reading it's really inspired my creativity and I'm so proud of myself to (laughs) to finally get this completed so this is the final product I do have some extra um bonuses in here such as these new stickers that I designed so there's going to be a sticker in each one of these zines um, when you make your purchase and I stopped by the post office I had to drop off some packages this weekend and um, my little Kindle I love by the way I love that thing it goes with me everywhere so I picked up some stamps as I dropped off some packages I picked up some stamps for my zines and this is snail mail so if you guys really enjoy the craft and the art of receiving mail it's going to have real stamps versus you know like the the barcode tracking number this is going to be through the flat like snail mail um, process so I had to pick up some stamps for the envelopes and this is also a good excuse to use up stamps I've had since (laughs) last year when I was exchanging a few postcards with my pen pals. So if you do decide to pick up a copy of my um, personally designed zine, you'll get some of these beautiful stamps. Now off to the bookstore. A lot of you guys had some good recommendations. Some of my dear book friends had some strong recommendations. So I spent this weekend going to my few um, favorite cafes picking up some good pastries for my reads. This is a delicious pancake bread. 
and the cashier was so nice she gave me extra little ephemera for my journal because I couldn't resist and you guys I think this was a sign okay so I'm here in my cafe right and as I was going to the bathroom I noticed well I wanted to capture the scene of this cafe for you guys because it's just so so cute but look right here to your right you see on that coffee table the fossil, the fossil Sydney satchel my favorite handbag for my regular subscribers you guys know I think it's a sign to switch but look how adorable their restroom is there's these are pennies on the floor all of those are pennies I thought that was such a unique and creative idea and I love the thick frame that they put here on their mirror definitely gave me some inspiration for my future custom dream home so I got my favorite my London fog and now we're going off to the bookstore Barnes and Noble to complete my March TBR list which is my to be read list my goal is to read at least seven good books seven really good books and to just um, really sit with that and not try to rush through it and I would be interested to know what you guys have on your list of books to read or maybe books that you're interested in so that way I can add it to my list as well so here we are this is my local Barnes & Noble every location is different but once you enter they all have that same smell and and feel and coziness about them I knew I was gonna need a basket so this one I really want to read in this year a little life in 2024 it's hyped up for all the good reasons I hear but I don't know if I'm emotionally ready I had to pick up book number five but this one was kind of damaged though so I had to find a different copy but Sarah J Mass my girl she is still holding on strong I'm still committed to her series and divine rivals yes gotta pick that up one of you guys recommended this book here wow this is a chunker so I made note of this this one someone recommended as well and I made note of all of these books all these books I'm showing you I made a note of so I have it in my app my notes app the area that I think a lot of us frequent the stationary section the notebooks the journals I spent a lot of time I was almost tempted to pick up this beautiful bright orange but decided to wait instead I found a beautiful leather journal that was just calling my name this one this burgundy beauty I'll share more later in the clip because I'm gonna show you all the books that I decided to get for this month but yeah this one was very popular a lot of you guys recommended this so it's on my list this oh my gosh I read it did not like it no <laughs> so here's a little quick glance of the areas that I visited this is all me right here my fantasy I'm all about the fantasy and then a few I almost picked up I was tempted Sarah J Mass she's just taken over all the bookstores I was almost going to pick up a book by um, by Brandon Sanderson but I couldn't find the exact book that someone recommended it was like the, the Emerald something about the Emerald Sea Lord of the Rings I gotta read this I, I've read I've seen the movies but I know books and movies are different my goal is to read that for this year this was bingo score number one this was another score number two this was not originally on my list but I just had to pick this up because this cover is beautiful I needed it and I loved the movie so much but I never read the book so damage has been done time to go back home and wrap up some of my packaging for my zine because I'm determined to get it out in this month I need to get it out I am here to show you all the books that I picked up at Barnes & Noble so I'm still finishing the fourth book with the throne of glass series I started this well yesterday 
So I'm already on chapter 23, but I'm going to put a pause. I'll come back to this maybe, <laughs> um, maybe tonight because I want to dive into one of these books that I'm going to show you. Let me know if you're like me and do you find yourself jumping around with books because I can't stick to one book. I notice like consistently. I, I, I mean, I can stick to one book, but then I'll take a pause and I'll pick up another book and then I'll come back to it maybe like a day or two later. So let me know if you guys are like that. Okay, so here, oh my goodness, you guys, this book, so big, okay? I have it off to the side. Let me share with you first, I would say this is a classic. I got The Count of Monte Cristo. I remember watching this movie and it leaving a lasting impression on me. I was, you know, just young in school and never even read the book. And if I really enjoyed the movie, I can only imagine how much better the book is. I mean, we all know the book, the original book is better, but I could not resist this beautiful fabric cover. I'm not particularly a fan of hardcover, but this, I think, this is okay because, I mean, look how chunky this is and how it would look on my bookshelf. It's beautiful. So I'm really looking forward to jumping into this this week. Yes, I will start on this this week. This is book number one. I have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books I picked up and a journal. Okay, second book. I have The Once Upon a Broken Heart. One of my book friends on Instagram, she recommended this and said, based off of what she's seen me, you know, liking and enjoying, I might enjoy this. So it's basically about, I guess, a girl that has to, um, she makes a deal with a prince to help her. Anyway, I'll let you guys know. I'm just showing you what I got. And I don't know why, but I typically don't really focus too much on the synopsis because I like to be surprised. So I'll just jump into books blindly most of the time. I'll take someone's recommendation and I'll just, you know, I'll just go for it. Same with movies. I don't really have to know what the movie is about per se. If someone says, hey, you should watch this movie, I won't look it up and see like what it's about, who's starring in it, who the key actors or actresses. I'll just watch it. And I feel like for me at least, that experience is just intensified and so much better because I did not go into it with expectations or um, like a loose understanding of the plot or the storyline. So let me know if you guys are like me as well. So I have this, Once Upon a Broken Heart. Book number three. Um, hold on, let me... Okay, because this is part of the, the um, Throne of Glass series. It's right after the Heir of Fire. So this is the fifth book. Does this count? I think so. It may. But I picked up this because I know I'm going to devour this fourth book and I'll keep you guys updated. Let me know if you guys care to hear about my thoughts on the throne of glass. I know a lot of my viewers and subscribers, you guys aren't really familiar with throne of glass or you haven't um, read it, but it's actually getting really, really good. It's piquing my interest. I know with the Akatar series or also known as the a court of, let me see, the court of, show you thorns and roses i raved about this book you guys this series by sarah j mass has a hold on me and this is a romanticy series love it all about the the fays you know the fairies and um this is just different it took me until the third book to really get into it but i'm actually getting into it so those hardcore Sarah J Mass fans that encouraged and urged me to stick through. Thank you because yes, I am actually I'm actually enjoying the Throne of Glass series. So, as you can see, I picked up the 5th book of the series. Oh yeah, Divine Rivals. I have book number 2 that I'm currently reading as well. Slowly, slowly reading because 
I love the first book so much. I'm now in this phase where I like to make notes and highlight and just, <laughs> just sit with a book for a while. And that's another reason why I may not do regular book book reviews like some of you had requested or suggested because even though I can read fast, I would say, I really like to take my time because I want to sit with the story. Like I want to really understand what it is that I'm reading. You can read something and then not really process it and then having to go back and reread it, which I have been guilty of in the past. But now I'm just like, you know what? I'm so into reading for the joy of enjoyment and just that escapism that I really want to sit with the story and um, in the book. I don't want to rush through anything, especially if it's really, really good. So this is... This is something I'm really excited about picking up. One of my Instagram buddies on Instagram, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. If you're watching this, this um, this purchase was inspired by you and your strong, strong recommendation. I'm not really into cowboys or anything like that. And actually, I shouldn't say I'm not into it because I may be. I just haven't come across the right book. She noticed that I liked Stephen King and she told me that Stephen King was actually, was it inspired? Or I would say he noted this, Lonesome Dove, as one of his favorite books, his favorite novel. So she read it, she loved it, and she said that I may really, really enjoy it as well. So this is a classic book. Look how thick this is. I picked it up. I was so glad. There was only two copies left at my um, bookstore. So I'm excited to dive into this in March. I'll, again, I'll come back at the end of the month and give you guys all, um, if you care, you know, a, a review of these books or my final thoughts, I should say. But I have no doubt that they will be good. Oh, okay, this is not really a novel, but it's a it's a journal for my journal friends. I I couldn't resist this leather journal. They have this in brown, but I've never ever 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 seen this burgundy color. I don't know if the light can pick it up, but it's burgundy. It's a beautiful plum raisin color and for my regular viewers and subscribers, especially if you're a fan of my What's in My Bag, you know that one of my favorite handbags ha has been my Fossil Sydney Satchel in the color Raisin. When I saw this, it reminded me, it, it looks just like this color. And this leather is so soft. It's real leather, made in Italy. And I'll have to see how it does with fountain pen. I'm not too worried though, because I can always just use my gel inks. Actually, you know what? Let me test it. I could test it right now. But what I liked was that I could tell it will lay, it will, it will lay flat. Sometimes the notebooks that I come across, these leather-bound books at Barnes and Noble, they don't lay flat. This one, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Can you see right here the inside? This burgundy color. It's so smooth. Okay, let me grab one of my fountain pens. I have, speaking of rotation, just like my books, I have different pens that I like to rotate. I have like my Twisby that has the purple, my other Twisby Smoke Rose that has a uh, black ink, my Banu that has like an orange. This is my beautiful, um, was it Little Pen Design? My Cosmo, my Star, my Stardust pen. Beautiful. This has like a blue like a bluish purplish ink in here and then this has ancient no this has what is this writer's blood by dime by dime mine so let's see let me just do a little test oh made in italy okay yeah. let me just do a test on this back page and see how it let me just do it maybe like on the bottom oh wow it came out really really uh, ooh, I wouldn't say, hold on, let me use a different, use a fine, because that's a medium nib. Let me use a fine. 
Let me see how this goes. Hmm. Not horrible, but I, there is some type of, there's a little bit of bleed through with the fountain pens, which is, again, not a deal breaker for me because I can just use gel. It's not the worst, but if you use, yeah, heavier, wetter inks, then just something to be mindful of. Adding this to my addition. Okay, back to the books. Let me put this aside. I also, and finally, reading Cersei. My friend recommended this too, and she's like, what, you haven't read this? No, I haven't. Um, you know, Greek mythology, just never really, I don't know. I just never came across the, the right story to get me hooked, and she thinks I'm really gonna love this, so. I picked this up. It's one of her favorite books. Happy to see what this is all about. And two more. I have Project Hail Mary. I've heard so many great things about this from other like book tubers and the algorithm has been like feeding me this. So I'll let you guys know my thoughts after this but if you or if you've read this let me know this one is i would say one of the ones that i'm excited about reading in this month of march along with because you know i love fantasy and romance so we could call it romancy romancy a fate inked in blood this is new it came out just like within what this week and surprisingly i've like everyone that i know that has similar tastes in me they really really liked this and they said it was it's like romanticy done well so we'll see couldn't resist this is about um from the general synopsis it's about this lady she gets married to like a horrible husband. This isn't a spoiler. It's just kind of in the general right here. Like, yeah, into a marriage that she doesn't want. Um, and then she, just look it up. I'm not really good <laughs> at these things, you guys. I'm not a booktuber uh, by any means, but I, if you care, I will let you know my final thoughts at the end of this month or share with you what actually caught my attention and what had a hold of my attention in this month of March. But I'd love to know what you guys are reading or what you're enjoying or what's maybe on your TBR list, to be read list. Um, I will be, I'll give you guys more updates and information too on my zine, okay? Speaking of little books or booklets, I created my own little journaling booklet that I think a lot of you guys may enjoy. Some of my really, really like long time um, followers and friends remember like the first two zines or booklets that I produced. It was over like, what, seven or 10 years ago? So I would say this is like my very, <laughs> my third, my third zine that I made. I'm so proud of this one because it's just, um, this zine was inspired by my reading journal. I just felt so creative over the last couple of months and I'll try to launch this or, yeah, I, I think I'll try to launch this this week. Look down below. I'll have links in the description or in the comments when it's out. Yeah, so you can purchase it. And um, it's just a little fun passion project that I had. It wasn't originally produced to sell or to really make like a profit. It was just for me. I have my own copy like up here, but I, I'm not going to share that with you because I want to have this as a surprise because I know a lot of you guys wanted to see, um, oh, right here in my traveler's notebook, you guys wanted to see more snippets of that, but I will share that. I think once th this first batch sells out because the part of the fun is that I want you to experience the flip through, like the pages that I created, I designed, um, just for my own therapeutic reason. And yeah, so okay, you guys, this video is already so long. 
I gotta sip my tea. It's, it's already cold. Finish my tart and I'll see you guys later. Bye.